Explore the mysterious Amazon rainforest, a place bursting with diverse and captivating creatures. These animals are both fascinating and intimidating due to their incredible survival skills and unique appearances. In this video, we'll introduce you to 20 of these remarkable creatures that have been captured on camera. Number 20. The Brazilian Wandering Spider the Brazilian Wandering Spider is a creature in the Amazon that you definitely want to take seriously. These spiders are not your friendly neighborhood spiders. They're pretty aggressive and pack a venomous punch. They come in different colors, but they're mostly brown and gray and some have light spots on their belly. Look closely and you might notice black and yellow or white bands on the bottom part of their front legs. The spiders belong to a group called Phonutria, which comes from the Greek word for murderess. That name gives you a clue about how dangerous they are. In fact, they are considered some of the most venomous spiders, not just in the Amazon, but on the entire planet. If one of these spiders bites you and you don't get treatment, you could be in serious trouble in just 25 minutes. There are actually nine different types of Brazilian wandering spiders, and the largest ones can be as big as nine inches across. That might not sound huge, but it's just the right size for them to sneak into shipments of exported fruits. That's why they're sometimes called banana spiders. These sneaky creatures have been found in bunches of bananas that have traveled all the way to places like the USA and the UK. And you can imagine the surprise when they're discovered there. Number 19. Vampire Bat If you thought bats were mysterious creatures of the night, get ready to be spooked further. Meet the Vampire Bat. A creature that's not your average bat by any stretch of the imagination. Vampire bats get their name because, well, they feed on blood. But don't worry, they're not the huge, scary bats you might imagine. They are actually pretty small, with burnt amber-colored fur on their back and soft, light brown fur on their belly. Think of them as roughly the size of an adult's thumb, with a wingspan of about 8 inches. Now there are only three types of bats that are true bloodsuckers, the common vampire bat, the hairy-legged vampire bat, and the white-winged vampire bat. You can find these bats hanging out in the rainforests of America, from Mexico down to Brazil, Chile, and Argentina. Interestingly, vampire bats don't often bite people because they don't seem to like human blood. They only come out to feed when it's pitch dark, and they prefer to sip on the blood of mammals and even birds. Here is how they do it. With their sharp teeth, they make tiny cuts in the skin of a sleeping animal. Their saliva has a special chemical that stops the blood from clotting so it keeps flowing. They then lap up the oozing blood. Plus, another chemical in their saliva numbs the animal's skin so it doesn't wake up during this rather unusual dinner. Now, after a good blood meal, these bats can get so full that they become too heavy to fly. So, they need to find a quiet spot away from their victims to digest their meal before taking off again. Number 18. The Human Botfly The human botfly, or Dermatobia hominis, and it's not your typical fly. It's quite big and covered in dense hair, almost resembling a bumblebee. You can find these flies in Central and South America. They don't spread diseases, but they do something quite bizarre. Adult bot flies lay their eggs on other blood-sucking insects, often mosquitoes. When a mosquito bites a person, the heat from the person's body triggers the bot fly egg to hatch. The maggot of the bot fly then goes head first into the unsuspecting human, with just its rear end sticking out. That little rear end is how it breathes through tiny air holes. For about 6 to 12 weeks, this maggot makes itself comfortable and grows to about an inch in length by munching on the host's flesh. When it's had its fill and grown nice and plump, it finally tunnels out and transforms into an adult botfly. Now, if you ever find yourself with one of these critters inside you, the treatment involves removing the maggots directly and using antibiotics to prevent or control any potential infections. Number 17. Tarantula Hawks in the world of insects, some tiny terrors go to great lengths to satisfy their sweet cravings and ensure their offspring's survival. Meet the formidable tarantula hawk, a wasp that's more nightmare than neighbor to the biggest, hairiest of spiders. Now, despite their name, tarantula hawks are a type of wasp, and they can grow up to a whopping 11 centimeters long. There are about 133 different kinds of these creatures, and they're all loners. They like to go solo, Tarantula hawks are named for their habit of hunting tarantulas, which are often way bigger than they are. 
But the amazing thing is they do it without risking their own lives. Adult tarantula hawks have a sweet tooth for nectar, but it's only the females who get into intense battles with spiders to provide food for their babies. They sting the tarantula with a sharp curved stinger, pumping venom into it that paralyzes the spider but keeps it alive. The helpless spider is either trapped in its own burrow or dragged to the wasp's nest. Then, the female lays a single egg on the spider's body. When that egg hatches, the baby wasp burrows its way into the spider's belly and starts chowing down on the still-living tarantula. It begins with the spider's blood, called hemolymph, and then moves on to the actual body tissue. Eventually, the little wasp-to-be emerges from the spider as a full-grown tarantula hawk. Only the baby wasps are carnivores. Once they grow up, they switch to a diet of pollen. Number 16, the green anaconda. If you have seen any of the anaconda movies, then you have the right to be scared of the real superstar of serpents, the green anaconda. It's not just a Hollywood legend, it's the heavyweight champion of the snake realm. Pound for pound, it's the biggest snake on the planet. These creatures can grow to over 29 feet in length, weigh more than 550 pounds, and measure more than 12 inches in diameter. And here's an interesting fact. Female anacondas are considerably larger than males. Now, where do these massive snakes call home? You'll find them in swamps, marshes, and slow-moving streams, mostly in the tropical rainforests of the Amazon and Orinoco basins. They might be a bit clumsy on land, but they become sleek and stealthy when they're in the water. What's unique about them is that their eyes and nose openings are on the top of their heads. This allows them to patiently wait for prey while staying mostly submerged. Speaking of prey, they chow down on quite a menu. Wild pigs, deer, birds, turtles, capybaras, caimans, and even jaguars. Anacondas aren't venomous. Instead, they're constrictors. They coil their strong bodies around their prey and squeeze until the animal can't breathe anymore. Thanks to stretchy ligaments in their jaws, they can swallow their meal whole, no matter how big it is. And after a big feast, they can go without food for weeks or even months. Number 15. Matamata turtles. Matamata turtles are unique creatures that are found all over the Amazon in northern South America. They're mainly water dwellers and prefer hanging out in slow-moving, shallow waters like streams, swamps, and marshes. Matamata turtles have a really eye-catching appearance. Their shells are not only big, but also bumpy and rugged, almost like they're covered in spherical cones. These bumps are caused by three ridges running from the front to the back of the shell, but that's not all that's interesting about them. The Matamata turtles have wide, flattened necks covered in warts, fringes, and ridges. Their eyes are small and sit on the sides of their large, flat, triangular heads. They boast a broad mouth and a long, tubular snout. Now that snout is pretty handy. It works like a snorkel. Only the tip of the snout needs to pop out of the water for the turtle to take a breath. Matamatas don't have great eyesight, but they make up for it with other senses. They can detect movements in the muddy waters they live in. Now, when it comes to dining, these turtles are carnivores. They're bottom feeders with a unique way of catching their prey. They basically vacuum up small fish and invertebrates. To do this, they stay really still and blend into the muddy surroundings, basically playing the waiting game until they can ambush their dinner. Number 14. Goliath Bird Eater If you have a fear of spiders, then that fear is just about to crawl to a whole new level. The Goliath bird eaters are like the kings of the spider kingdom. They can weigh up to six ounces, and their leg span can reach almost a foot. Just to clarify, despite their name, they don't make birds their main course, but they're big enough to occasionally snack on them. Now, let's talk about their menu. Insects are their go-to, but they've got a taste for frogs and rodents, too. When it's mealtime, they use their inch-long fangs like hypodermic needles, injecting neurotoxins into their unlucky prey. After that, they haul the dying animals back to their burrow to start the digestion process. You see, spiders can't munch on solid food, so they first turn their prey's insides into a liquid and then slurp it up. Goliath bird eaters don't have the best eyesight. Instead, they've got special leg hairs that are super sensitive to vibrations. These hairs alert them to any potential threats. If they need to defend themselves, they rub those hairs together to create a hissing noise that can be heard up to 15 feet away. Talk about a warning. 
And if that's not enough, they can even flick those hairs at attackers. Plus, if they really want to look tough, they'll rear up on their hind legs and show off their massive fangs. Quite the spider, wouldn't you say? Number 13. Amazonian Giant Centipede The Amazonian Giant Centipede is not your ordinary centipede. It's the biggest of them all, stretching over 30 centimeters long. What makes it stand out are its countless legs running along both sides of its long body. Now, these centipedes are true carnivores. They have an appetite for small creatures they come across, like invertebrates, lizards, amphibians, and even tiny mammals like mice or bats. In fact, they can be quite impressive hunters. They can snatch flying bats right out of the air. They hang from cave ceilings and nab bats that come too close. When they catch their prey, they inject venom using their special front legs called forcipules. This venom either paralyzes or kills their victim, making it an easy meal with minimal resistance. As for humans, these centipedes usually keep to themselves and don't bother us much. However, their bites can cause pain, swelling, and nausea. Thankfully, death from their bites is pretty rare. The Amazonian giant centipede has its own predators. They need to watch out for snakes, scorpions, big birds, and even small cats. Nature's got its checks and balances after all. Number 12. Bullet Ant Up next is the bullet ant. It lives in the tropical rainforests and gets its name from the unbelievably painful sting it delivers, which people say feels like getting shot by a bullet. Now, this ant goes by many names depending on where you are. In Venezuela, they call it the 24-hour ant because the pain from its sting can last an entire day. In Brazil, they simply call it Big Black Ant or Formigao Preto. The indigenous people also have a name for it, which roughly translates to the one who wounds deeply. No matter what you call it, one thing's for sure. This ant is both feared and respected because of its sting. These ants set up their homes at the base of trees so they can go out foraging in the treetops. Each colony has several hundred ants, and they're not naturally aggressive. However, if you provoke them, they'll sting. And when one ant stings, it releases chemicals that tell other nearby ants to join in the stinging party. But what happens if you get stung? Well, you're in for a world of hurt. The venom causes not just extreme pain, but also temporary paralysis and uncontrollable shaking. You might also feel nauseous, throw up, get a fever, or even experience irregular heartbeats. Thankfully, allergic reactions to their venom are pretty rare. While it won't kill humans, it sure paralyzes or kills other insects. So these ants are not to be messed with. Number 11. Fer de Lance The Fer de Lance is a highly venomous pit viper found from southern Mexico all the way down to northern South America. These snakes can reach up to 6 kilograms in weight and grow as long as 2.5 meters. They are among the largest pit vipers out there. Now what you need to know is that they are the top dog when it comes to danger in Central and South America. They're responsible for most fatal snake bites in their territory. However, here's the thing. Just like most venomous snakes, they would rather avoid humans if they can. You can spot a fer de lance by its distinctive features. They have broad, flattened heads that stand out from the rest of their bodies. The head can be light to dark brown or even black, while the underside is usually pale yellow. These snakes are creatures of the night. They like to go solo, and they're less active when it gets colder and drier. You will often find them near rivers and streams, soaking up the sun during the day. At night, they lie very still, blending in with leaves or under forest cover, waiting to ambush their prey like rats and mice. Ferdelances can get unpredictable when disturbed. When they feel cornered or threatened, they might coil up in an S-shape to show they mean business. They can also move quite swiftly, usually choosing to run away from danger, but if push comes to shove, they won't hesitate to defend themselves fiercely. So, best to give them their space. Number 10. Potus. You have seen birds, but nothing like the potus. These quirky creatures with big, googly yellow eyes and an unforgettable name are masters of disguise, hiding in plain sight throughout Central and South America, as well as some Caribbean islands. But their unique looks are just the beginning of their story. Potus are night owls, literally. During the daytime, they sit incredibly still on the tips of dead branches or tree stumps, with their eyes closed. They do this to become practically invisible, blending in perfectly with their surroundings thanks to their tree-like feathers. They also have magic eyes, small folds on their upper eyelids that can sense movement even when their eyes are closed. 
This incredible adaptation allows them to keep an eye out for potential threats while staying hidden. When night falls, Patus show off their hunting skills. With their big eyes and large mouths, they're experts at swooping down from their perches to catch flying insects. So these birds aren't just meme-worthy. They're also masters of camouflage and skilled nighttime hunters. Number 9. Red-Bellied Piranha When you hear of piranhas, what comes to mind are these notorious Amazon river hunters, right? Well, meet the red-bellied piranha, the South American local that's not as ferocious as you might think. Found in rivers like the Amazon and Piranha, these pint-sized predators are more like scavengers. Now, these piranhas earn their name because their bellies have a reddish hue when they are fully grown. But when they're young, they're more of a silvery color with darker spots. They don't get massive either, usually growing to just a bit over a foot in length and weighing up to four pounds. They have a rounded, snub-nosed look, which is quite functional. Underneath that high forehead, some powerful muscles connect to a short, stout lower jaw. And this lower jaw is packed with triangular, razor-sharp teeth that fit together perfectly. This setup allows piranhas to bite down with incredible force and cut through things like a hot knife through butter. They often hang out in groups of 20 or more, which adds to their strength. When it comes to their diet, they love to nibble on the fins of larger fish. But they're not picky eaters. They'll chow down on bits of flesh, small fish, insects, water critters, and sometimes even fruits like figs when they're ripe. So they're not just ruthless killers. They're part of nature's cleanup crew, too. Number 8. Poison Dart Frog Poison Dart Frogs are the most colorful frogs you will ever come across. But they are not just flaunting their colors for fun. Those bright hues are like a warning sign because these frogs are toxic. Take the Golden Poison Dart Frog, for example. It packs enough poison to take out 20,000 mice. These frogs call the wet, tropical forests of Central and South America home. Now, what's interesting is that their diet plays a big role in making them toxic. They munch on things that contribute to the toxins they release through their skin. They earned the nickname dart frogs because Native Americans used their poisonous secretions to coat the tips of blow darts and arrows. While most frogs are considered toxic but not deadly, they're not a tasty treat for predators. Trying to eat one can lead to serious swelling, nausea, and even muscle paralysis. And if a predator survives after attempting to snack on a poison dart frog, it will remember that awful taste and steer clear of anything similar in the future. So these little frogs are both colorful and clever when it comes to staying safe. Number 7. Eyelash Viper We have talked about the Ferdelance, a venomous pit viper in the Amazon rainforest, but let's meet another viper called Bothriechus schlegeli, commonly known as the Eyelash Viper. This snake is relatively small, measuring between 50 to 80 centimeters in length. It's got a wide, triangular-shaped head, but the most distinctive thing about it is the special scale above each eye that looks like eyelashes. When it comes to color, it's a bit of a fashion chameleon. You might spot it in mottled green, but it can also rock shades like reddish yellow, plain yellow, or grayish brown. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The eyelash viper is mostly a night owl, and it has a unique ability. It can sense prey using heat-sensitive pits on each side of its head, right between its eye and nostril. It's like having a built-in sixth sense that helps it detect animals with body temperatures different from the environment. Plus, it's a master of disguise, blending in perfectly with flowers and foliage. Those eyelashes of theirs make it extra tricky to spot their head among the leaves. The snake also has a prehensile tail. While eating its meal, it can hang onto a branch with its tail. Now, don't let all this talk of venomous vipers scare you. The eyelash viper is not known to be especially dangerous. It's not very aggressive, and bites are quite rare and hardly ever deadly, so it's more of a fashion-forward viper with a gentle temperament. Number 6. Electric Eels Despite their name, electric eels aren't really eels. They're more like cousins of carp and catfish in the scientific family tree. What sets these freshwater creatures apart is their shocking ability, literally. They're famous for the massive electric charge they can generate. Inside their bodies, they have something called electric organs, housing around 6,000 special cells known as electrocytes. Think of these cells as tiny batteries. When the eel feels threatened or is hunting for prey, these cells release their electric charge all at once. 
You'll find these electric eels in the murky streams and ponds of the Amazon and Orinoco basins in South America. Their diet mainly consists of fish, but they will also snack on amphibians, birds, and even small mammals. Electric eels are air breathers, so they need to come up to the surface frequently for a breath of fresh air. They also don't have the best eyesight, but they can emit a low-level electric charge, less than 10 volts, which acts like radar, helping them navigate and locate their prey. Now, the good news is that human fatalities from electric eels are incredibly rare, but multiple shocks can mess with your breathing or heart, and in some cases, people have even drowned in shallow water after getting a shocking jolt. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Imagine you are walking through the Amazon jungle, lost in the dense foliage. You hear a noise behind you and turn around to see a creature that towers over the trees. It is so large that its gaping mouth could swallow a car. Its skin is slick and gray, and it doesn't seem to have any eyes. If they hadn't captured this creature in the Amazon jungle, nobody would have believed it. But here it is, standing before you. A creature that defies all logic and understanding. What is this creature? Is it prehistoric and has somehow survived into the modern day? Or is it something else entirely? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Number 5. Black Cayman Up next is the Black Cayman, a South American giant that commands attention. These formidable reptiles can reach jaw-dropping lengths of up to 6 meters and tip the scales at an astounding 450 kilograms. And as their name suggests, they usually rock a dark greenish-black color as adults. In some cases, they can appear nearly jet black. Their heads are big and hefty, which comes in handy when they're hunting bigger prey. Now, just like other crocodile-like animals, caimans are built a certain way. They're kind of long and squat, with massive jaws, a lengthy tail, and relatively short legs. Their skin is tough and covered in scales, and their eyes and noses are located on the tops of their heads. This special adaptation allows them to see and breathe while the rest of their bodies are submerged underwater. When it comes to food, these black caimans are apex predators with a taste for just about anything they can get their jaws on. They're not picky eaters. They'll chow down on animals that live on land and near rivers. They have also been seen catching and eating smaller species like the spectacled caiman. Sometimes they will even feast on smaller black caimans if they get the chance. When black caimans are full-grown and healthy, they don't have any natural enemies to worry about, except for us humans and the jaguars. So they're pretty much the rulers of their domain. Number 4. Amazon Giant Leech Ever wondered what the world's largest blood-sucking leech is? Well, it's the Amazon Giant Leech. These parasites can grow up to a whopping 45 centimeters in length, and you can find them hanging out in freshwater areas in the Amazon rainforest. Now, when it comes to leeches, there are actually thousands of species, but this one takes the crown for being the most, well, let's say, unattractive. These giant leeches have a rather dark, tea-like color, which is pretty handy because it helps them blend into the swampy waters of the rainforest. You'll often find them hanging out near the mouths of rivers in places like Venezuela, the Guianas, and, of course, the Amazon. Now, here's the spooky part. These leeches are skilled trackers. They'll find you by following your movements and your shadow. When they decide to stab you, you won't even feel it because they come equipped with their own anesthesia. And if you ever find one of these leeches attached to you, here's how you deal with it. Gently slide your finger toward its mouth and pull it out slowly. That's the best way to bid farewell to your uninvited guest. Number 3. Assassin Bug an assassin bug is a predator insect found on the forest and jungle floors of South America. You can spot an assassin bug by its long head and a mouth part that has three segments. Now, these bugs are like the James Bonds of the insect world when it comes to hunting. They've got some seriously clever tactics. One of their tricks is hunting ants. They go undercover by coating themselves in the dead ant bodies. This basically makes them smell like ants, allowing them to get super close to living ones before they strike. But here's where it gets even more interesting. When they're after bees, they're not afraid to get sticky. Assassin bugs cover their front legs in tree sap and catch bees mid-air with their super adhesive claws. Then they use their sharp mouth part to pierce the bee's tough shell and inject a powerful toxin. This toxin turns the bee's insides into a gooey mess, which the assassin bug slurps up. 
Now don't worry, assassin bugs are generally not aggressive towards humans. But if they feel threatened, they might give you a bite. Their bites are intensely painful, and in rare cases, they can even trigger serious allergic reactions. Some types of assassin bugs can spread a parasite in their feces that causes Chagas disease. It is a potentially fatal but rare illness that can lead to fever, fatigue, body aches, headaches, rashes, and swollen eyelids. Number 2. The Candiru This tiny fish is known as the Candiru. It calls the Amazon its home and belongs to the catfish family. These little guys are pretty slender and almost see-through, usually measuring around 3 to 5 centimeters in length. Now, what sets the Candiru apart is its peculiar lifestyle. It likes to hang out at the bottom of the river, patiently stalking other fish for its rather unusual diet blood. In the dimly lit depths, the Candiru is thought to track its prey by following traces of urea and ammonia that fish release through their breathing gills. When it catches up with a victim, the kandaroo latches onto the poor fish with its surprisingly large mouth. This mouth can expand and it is lined with sharp spines. In a split second, it pierces the fish's gill, using these spines to anchor itself securely while it indulges in a blood feast. Once it's had its fill, it pulls out its spines and swims back down to the riverbed to digest its meal. Now, for some unlucky prey, the Kandiru might stay lodged in their gills for quite a while, causing ongoing damage. Number 1. The Common Basilisk The Common Basilisk is a lizard that is native to Central and South America. You can find them hanging out near rivers and streams in the rainforests. Now, they got their name because they look like the legendary monster called a basilisk. These lizards are quite unique. They have slender bodies that are sort of flattened from side to side, a long and whip-like tail, and the back of their head extends into a flat comb-like structure, kind of like what you'd see on a rooster. Now the creatures have a cool feature, a crest that runs down their back, and in some species, this crest stretches the whole length of their body. But here's the really interesting part. Basilisks often live by streams, and when they get spooked, they can do something pretty incredible. They run across the water on their hind legs, just like you'd imagine someone walking on water. This is why they're sometimes called Jesus Christ lizards. Now, how do they pull off this aquatic sprint? Well, they're fast and lightweight, and their toes have fringes that help them stay afloat so they don't sink. It's usually the younger and lighter lizards that you'll see dashing across the water. And don't underestimate their swimming skills. Adults can stay underwater for up to 30 minutes before coming up for air. So, while they might not perform miracles, these lizards sure have some nifty tricks up their sleeves. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.